Drink driving is one of the most common charges I deal with. I have read thousands upon thousands of cases. As such, I'm usually able to give a very quick assessment of what your options are and what the likely outcomes are for you when you go through court. So if you're facing a drink driving charge and you want to have a talk about it, feel free to get in touch with me. Even if you're facing a charge like that, we can also talk about your license. There may be a way of saving your license, even though the actual legislation says it's a mandatory disqualification. What we typically see are driving with excess breath alcohol, blood alcohol, or failing to give a blood sample. There's also more serious but rare charges, such as driving in the transport industry with excess blood alcohol, like taxi drivers. If you're in that category, you really need help. You need to call me right away. So the, the way the courts tend to deal with it, assuming there's no other big issues, if it's a first time, you're looking at the mandatory six months disqualification and a fine. Second time, community work and the disqualification. When you get up to a third time, you're in big trouble. That's when your disqualification goes up to a year and a day minimum, which means you have to reset your license. And at that point, you're starting to look at community detention, home detention or prison. Above three, obviously the danger zone increases for you. So even though the, I've used the word mandatory disqualification, elsewhere in the site you'll find that there are ways of saving your license. Um, the other thing to take into consideration is your vehicle. If you've had a previous drink drive or other serious traffic charge within five years, you can also be facing the confiscation of your vehicle. So it's a serious charge. It is taken seriously by the court. If you're facing drink drive and you think you want some help with your license or the charge, feel free to get in touch with me.